Welcome to 19th Century Bootmaker. My name is Jesse Lee Cantrell and I am the last 19th century bootmaker taught by a fellow by the name of John Henry who was born in 1877. His teacher was born back around 1810. He made boots for the Confederacy. Now I'm going to show you today how a pair of boots from 1870s was made. And we've got these patterns here. These tin patterns. And they go way back to the Civil War. And I'll be using a very nice leather, if you can see this. There's your grain side, and there's your flesh side, and see that thickness? That's about a sixteenth of an inch. That's a four or five, which is about the grade they used. I'll just focus in on these patterns here. I'm not very good at technology. I'm a totally 19th century man. But these patterns would open and close. And if I can get in here, you can see how the sizing was done. It's not coming up very good, but when you opened the pattern, to this area it would come down to a corresponding size. Now there's three pieces to this. This piece be in the front before it's crimped. And this is the back pattern as it will be. Now these boots will be considerably higher than this they will also be made with dye that I make in my own shop and they will be Virginia waxed with a Virginia wax formula that goes back probably just before the Civil War and uh, Virginia waxing was a formula that uh, had uh, wax and uh, resin and uh, lamp black and a bunch of other things in it. I don't give my formulas away. And that would give uh, the finish to this flesh part of the leather, which is extremely smooth to begin with and that's what you want. Now the tops of these boots will be uh, red Morocco and the construction the crimping will be done by hand I will be doing that next and the uh, the fine stitching will be done on an 1876 Bradbury machine and the side seam stitching will be done on uh, an 1862 to 1872 Columbia machine and uh, it was Columbia during the Civil War and it was uh, uh, international after the Civil War and I, the machines I use are all very very old and uh, they're, they're quite a collection in themselves. And I will probably be doing the uh, soles. Uh, I haven't decided whether I'm going to do a hand welt stitch or if I'm going to stitch them on the 1860s McKay machine. I've got to fix the treadle on that. So if the treadle gets fixed, uh, that's what it'll be uh, stitched on for the soles. Okay. Uh, 
that's just this part of it and I'll see you for the next part.